Hello class 10 students welcome to my channel online biology tutorials we are studying respiration from the chapter number 6 life processes the basic theme behind respiration is already being done like what all parts are there in our respiratory system how we do inspiration why we do expiration how respiration occurs in the terrestrial organisms how it happens in the aquatic animals how it happens in the plants and why is hemoglobin essential for us now we are already done with so many things and we also did that organisms basing upon respiration could be of two types aerobic and anaerobic if you haven't watched the video on it please do watch out aerobic are the ones that require oxygen and anaerobic are the ones that do not require oxygen now whether we are talking about aerobic or we are talking about anaerobic one thing is common that glycolysis will definitely occur in both aerobic and the anaerobic means this is the initial step first step mandatory to both aerobic and anaerobic organisms okay it is definitely going to occur in both the organisms and you know that glycolysis starts with a substrate right glycolysis starts with a substrate means a reactant for this is glucose and where is this glucose came it has come by the process of digestion right in digestion we have seen that polymers were converted to monomers so glucose is one of the monomer of the digestion so important question for this is what is the respiratory substrate for glycolysis this question is important and the answer to this question is glucose because glucose is one component that starts the reaction so glucose is the reactant and the chemical formula for this is c6 h12 o6 and you can see that carbon is repeated six times means six atoms of carbon are there so it is a six carbon molecule means carbon is present in it six times so glucose is going to start the glycolysis and what is the site of glycolysis site of glycolysis means the place where it occurs so glycolysis occurs in the cytoplasm of the cell and glucose undergoes glycolysis to forms what to forms two molecules of pyruvic acid now pyruvic acid is a three carbon molecule right and we have learned in chemistry that the chemical reaction should be balanced so here you can see that six carbon are there in the glucose so if we have formed a molecule which has three carbon in it then we need to have two molecules of such three carbon compound which makes six c so we will be having six c of the glucose and six c will be balanced with the two molecules of pyruvate so six c means it was there glucose is getting converted to pyruvic acid right so with one molecule of glucose we have formed two molecules of pyruvic acid this is the main crux of the glycolysis so to sum up glycolysis again 
Let's see it in a different way. Glyco means glucose and lysis means breakdown. So glycolysis is the initial step of respiration where glucose is broken down to pyruvic acid. It occurs in the cytoplasm of the cell and whether the organism is aerobic or anaerobic, it definitely has to occur. Right now we have seen that one molecule of glucose by glycolysis has formed pyruvic acid and this is a mandatory step of the respiration process. Now after this process once the pyruvate is formed now the fate of the pyruvate fate of pyruvate will be decided by various factors like if oxygen is there then aerobic respiration will occur. If oxygen is absent then in the case of human beings what will happen? Anaerobic respiration will occur right third case if oxygen is absent again but we are talking about a fungus called yeast which is the example of edible fungus edible means eatable right so if oxygen is not there in the yeast then also anaerobic respiration has to occur means the fate of the pyruvate will be decided further whether oxygen is there or oxygen is not there. If oxygen is not there, there are two conditions, one in the human being and another in the yeast. So, in the upcoming videos, we will be talking about first the anaerobic respiration in the yeast. Then we will come to anaerobic respiration in the human beings. And finally, we will talk about aerobic respiration in the human beings. So stay tuned to have more learning videos. If you have liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And also, please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And press the bell icon to have the recent updates. Now, the question for this video is, is glycolysis a mandatory step? A mandatory step of respiration? Right? You need to give your answer in yes or a no. You can write up your answer in the comment section. I will definitely revert by commenting to it. And your name will be taken. Whosoever is participating, their names will definitely be reflected. Right? Stay tuned to have more learning videos like this. In upcoming video, we will talk about anaerobic respiration in yeast. Thank you.